So here it is, my end of year panic video. I'm gonna try and make it a little bit festive too. And the other day I stumbled across a Lego kit in a supermarket that was on offer and it's very different to my usual Lego Technic 1980s stuff so I thought it might be fun to try that for a change. Anyway it's taken three days of frantic cadding the parts up and printing and it's now ready for assembly which is the fun bit so let's get started. Generally speaking, these tolerances are pretty good, but sometimes you get a piece that just doesn't want to go. And you have to use a bit of brute force. Parts like this that have to fit together, it takes me a little while to get the fit right. I also do these in two parts and glue them together rather than trying to print these in one piece on the printer. So sometimes if a part won't fit very well, I'll just take a little deburring tool like this. printed these on their sides like this on the print bed and put a little bit of support underneath each side here. It turned out really nice. There are a few interesting pieces in this kit to make like this part here for example. It's printed uh, with a 0.4mm nozzle on the Bamboo X1C printer with a 0.28 layer height. This has all best been bridged, there's no support material in here. And this was a really nice piece to model up and has printed beautifully. Oh no, I've printed these a little bit too tight and I've just snapped one off. So it's snapped along the layer line there, printed this way round so it's easy to print but obviously it puts the layer lines at the weakest point as this stretches slightly. Rather than print flat on the bed this way, I've switched to printing on the bed this way. So now the layer lines are printing around here, so it gives the strength in this direction. There we go, so that's nice and tight on there now, and it's not gonna break. That's all the sub-assemblies done, so now let's get this thing together. Now I do have a bit of concern about these joints, these ball joints, how strong they're gonna be, because they are just glued at the moment. Fingers crossed. Well, that goes there. Okay, not bad. It's kind of cool, but basically the ball joints aren't quite stiff enough to support its weight. So, uh, hmm, what can I do about that? Am I just basically the head of this mech trooper right now? <laughs> this wasn't what I was planning, but... Uh, <laughs> so this is obviously a version of the mech troop the mech stormtrooper let me just see if i can get him to stand up right here's the original one right here there you go that's not bad it's a cool looking thing so the plan was to make like the little minifig to go up here but then i thought why do i need a minifig when i've got another mech ah one small problem hang on a minute that's not very festive. Let's get rid of that. He's a little bit a little bit short. A little bit short for a stormtrooper. I'm gonna have to make him a booster seat and I'm gonna have to try and sort out these uh, arms so that they're and legs so they're a bit stiffer because right now I can't really pose him. I've just scored the inside of this part here, so it's basically rough on the inside now. I scored it with a soldering iron 
and it does seem to have improved slightly. So I'll do, I'm gonna do this to the whole mech now and see if it's gonna stand up on its own. I managed to break one of his arms off, which I thought was gonna happen. I think these really do need looking at these uh, sockets because at this scale, they're just not really working. Okay, I think I've come up with a solution for the ball joints, but I'm just waiting for the last bits to print. So whilst that's happening, I thought I'd have a look at how our, uh, our original mech trooper here sits inside of this uh, little new mech cab. I made this four times scale because I thought the shoulders would just about fit inside of this, which they do, but then he basically disappears. Um, so that's why I've got to make him this little booster step. 3D printed this part here which is one of my four times scale Lego pieces with some actual scale Lego studs on the top. And that's for his feet to go on. So it's about deciding at what height to have him stood at. Now I think if I put him at uh, one step like that, I don't think he's quite high enough because basically his shoulders get in the way here. This will close up, but then it puts him in some weird position where he's just pointing down and looking at the ground. So that doesn't really work. So I think he needs another boost. Now I'm gonna put uh, two more pieces underneath this booster. What this means is that when he closes up, his arms sit out over the top, which means he can kind of chill out like that. I don't know how he's driving his mech anymore, but I quite like him poking out the top. You get to see his chest detail as well, which is the same as on the front of there. So I think that's what I'm gonna go with for now. The double boost, the single boost works as well, but the problem is that the arms are a bit like this and they can't kind of do much with them. So I think this is quite a nice compromise. Right, let's see if that part's printed and I can get these ball joints done and I'll show you what I've done to correct that. My initial design for this basically had a little part that protruded from there and it pushed into the back of this to locate them together. And then I simply glued them, which worked okay, but it put so much strain on this joint when you're moving the arms or the legs around, it wasn't gonna survive. What I've done is I've added a hole all the way through that's big enough to take a pan head and this 25 millimeter screw. This is an M4 screw in the back. You can drop a little nut in like that and it'll take a square or a hex nut and then effectively just screw these two parts together. So that works really nicely, makes a really strong joint between the two parts. I'm gonna glue these two parts as well to stop this from rotating so then this won't undo itself like that. Now once that glue goes off, you won't be able to undo this and it will keep those two parts together nice and sound. Right, so we're back to uh, assembled mech. And it feels like, yeah, there we go, the arms are gonna stay up. If I hide my arms, oh man, I should have worn a green morph suit. This could have been hilarious. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Well, I mean, they stay there, but I've made the fit a little bit too, yeah. Maybe if I don't move them around too much. There we go. Right, let's get him back in. No. <laughs> okay, we definitely need to do something about this, but I'm gonna wait, leave that for another time. And there it is, a stormtrooper driving a mech trooper, driving a giant mech trooper. All that's left to do is make it festive. Does it get any more festive? A stormtrooper dressed as Santa in his mech suit, driving a giant mech suit, delivering Christmas trees. I suppose I better talk about the elephant in the room, the giant Lego car chassis. <laughs> I am gonna finish it off. I just ran out of space to actually assemble it. It's 95% finished. So that's gonna be a project for next year. Yes, I know it's taken me forever, but you'll just have to be patient. So that's it for 2023. I hope you've had a great year and I hope 2024 is an even better year for you. If you want more information on this build, don't forget to check the description below. And there's also ways you can support my channel there and also leave your comments. I do like reading them. So uh, until next time, bye.
Oh no. That's the holidays ruined. <laughs>